Hello, it's Rob at Small Urban Garden UK. I'm going to plant some dahlias today. I've got three. I've got them at Christmas. Been looking forward to planting them ever since then. And uh, we're going to pop them in today. I've got Pom Pom Snowflake, which is a white one. I've got Cactus Jura, which is got nice pink sort of picketty edges to some what look like quite big flowers. And I've got a Decorative Seattle which has got the yellow kind of inverted picketty in a way. So I'm going to pop them all in. I've already put a bit of soil in the bottom of these pots. What I'm using is, I'm using these nice basic plastic pots here that are black. And when they grow in these dahlias, I'm going to pop them out in borders strategically where I think they look good. And then hopefully they'll bloom up, fill out the borders, look great. You'll not see them because we'll have other plants around them, concealing them, concealing them. And then when it gets to winter, of course, they're a bit tender, can't really stay outside in the British soil, so I can just move the pots, wrap them in a bit of bubble wrap, something like that, keep them protected. So, I've got these pots, I've already labelled them, and dahlias come in tubers, which are basically just the roots. Uh, oh, we've already got sprout coming as well, so that's a good sign that we're ready to plant. Now, in the bottom, I've put some rubble, basically to let the drainage go through without blocking the pots. I'll show you over here. This is where I grew some ranunculus last year and the holes are completely blocked and they died because it filled up with water. So even though I drilled some good holes in it, it didn't uh, drain properly. So it's really important that you've got your drainage working well. So on top of that, I've got some multi-purpose compost mixed about 50-50 with a loam-based compost. And these need to go about six inches deep, 15 centimeters. So I'm just going to pop the first one in. That's the pom pom snowflake. It does help to have everything labeled up and prepared because then you don't get confused as to what you've just planted. Now on the top, I'm just going to put multi purpose. And my logic behind that is it's nice and moisture retaining and it'll act as a a good mulch throughout the year. I can always top it up if I, if I feel that it needs a bit more of a mulch, but hopefully not. So I'm going to pop that on, so I just break it up a bit. And uh, you want to leave a little bit of gap on the top of the pot, so that when you water it, your water just doesn't overflow straight away over the side of the pot, which would be no good. If you're not sure what depth you should be planting, you want the bottom of the tube is to be about 6 inches, 15 centimetres, but it's always best to go a bit more shallow than deep if you're worried. Next one, I've got the Cactus Jura. Now, I'd say last year was the first time that we do dahlias, and we've got three gone protected over there. Just a bit of bubble wrap over top of a nice little wooden crate. I've had them in the cold frame. I'm running out of space in that cold frame now. So I've got some ideas on how to improve the space in the cold frame so I can get more seeds growing. I seem to grow more seeds than I've got space for, which obviously can be a problem in a small garden like this one. But I want it jam-packed with as many different flowers and plants as I can. I've not got much of an element or a landscape design. I just want lots of beautiful variety. See it evolve over time. Make any changes I feel is necessary. Of course you want it to look beautiful and structured. But why limit yourself when there's so many exciting plants out there to grow and try? After all, I have to say, I prefer working in the garden to relaxing in it. And when the summer comes, this is the decorative Seattle, when the summer comes, even though there's less to do in the garden, just weeding and keeping everything tidy, I do find it hard to sit down and enjoy it because for me, the pleasure comes in the garden in itself. And there's no more exciting time than this time of the year when your head's buzzing, full of thoughts and ideas and all the different jobs you've got to do. I've got to, loads more to plan. Got loads to 
sort out in the borders. You've got all your little jobs to do, like emulsion, any last-minute pruning, and uh, it can all be a bit overwhelming sometimes. But that's why I like it. Now that's the last one done. Got them labelled up. I think I'll stick them on the decking for now. Keep them a bit protected. You never know. We can still get some nasty weather at this time of year. But once I feel like the worst out of the way, I'm getting some good consistent sun. Get them out in the sun. And we'll see how they go. I'll keep you up to date. Take care. See you later.